40 ways to be happy. Get a little more lip color up in here. I hope that looks good. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, hi, my name is Danielle. Really nice to meet you. If you are new again, make sure to subscribe. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and it's usually a good time around here. So uh, join the Dan fam. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking me, Danielle, how are you so happy all the time? How are you so optimistic all the time? Okay, well, little hint, that's not 24 seven, but I try to stay optimistic a good amount of the time. I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about ways to be happy, things to do to boost your mood easy little things or things that just make me feel so happy inside that are just everyday things but you guys might not think about it so uh, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about those things. This collab is super special because it is with our collab away winner. If you guys saw my video I guess like maybe two months ago, I don't really know. Me and my friend Michaela and Molly, we decided to do a video where we collab with one of you guys and the winner was Anna Grace. We announced it on our Twitter. I know a lot of you guys are asking. My name's Anna and I post fashion, lifestyle, and beauty videos. And I post usually two or three times a week and it's a whole lot of fun. So when you're done watching this video, definitely go check out my video down below to see the 10 ways that I stay happy and just how to be happy. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, okay. Bye guys. I'm Michaela from the channel Miss Michaela G and I'm also gonna be sharing 10 ways to be happy. So once you're done watching this video, come on over to my channel and check it out. Hi guys, I'm Molly and on my channel I'm going to be showing you 10 more ways or things that make me happy and ways that you guys can become happy yourselves, which you can find on all the other girls' channels. I'm so excited to be working with them on this video and I really hope you guys like the concepts that we came up with. I think it's super cute and amazing for this time of year around Valentine's Day. So after you watch this video, make sure to go check out mine. All their videos are going to be linked down below, so again, if you want tons of happiness, well, we got you covered. So make sure to go check out their videos after this, and if you are new, coming from one of theirs, what's up, you should hit that subscribe button. But anyways, enough of that, I've been sitting down here. I came up with a, a, I came up with a list of 10 ways to make you happy, and just 10 things that make me personally happy, so maybe it will inspire you guys, so uh, let's just get started. Number one is making coffee. I love the process of making coffee. Ever since I got my Nespresso machine for Christmas, I am just the happiest girl. I love making the espresso and then putting it in a cup and either if I'm making an iced latte or a hot latte, making the frothy milk. Like, just the process of it is so satisfying to me and I just feel like a little barista and it's just something that boosts my mood in the morning or after school when I get home. Like, just something that kind of picks me up. Yes, the caffeine does get me going, but also just, the idea of making the coffee is really nice. Number two is wearing pajamas that actually match. It's the craziest of things, I know, but when I wear a matching pajama set, I feel so put together. I feel like life is good. I feel like I'm in this nice hotel. I just feel, I feel good. Like if I'm wearing a matching pajama set, you know I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Number three is watching the sunset. And I know not everyone can watch the sunset from where they live. I'm so blessed to live on the water and get to watch the sunset every night. Um, but it's something that makes me really happy. Even if you can't watch the sunset, the golden hour is an amazing time. You know, right before sunset, that like golden glow outside, just, it really like, I don't know, it like fuels my soul in a way and I love it a lot. And it's just something that relaxes me. I go and sit out on my dock and it just makes me feel good. Number four is taking pictures. I've been really into photography lately. I've been doing a lot of photo shoots with photographers because obviously I like to have a pop on Instagram, but I also am really interested to learn from them and what cameras they use and how they like to take their pictures. It's really fun for me. And I just got this new baby. It's the Sony a6500. And man oh man, it takes amazing pictures. I love, I'll go out and like take pictures of my friends or have my parents or have someone take a picture of my outfit. And it's just like, I don't know, I'm really into taking pictures right now and it, it fuels my soul as well. Number five is something so simple, but it can really put you in a very calm and happy mood is lighting a candle at night or in the morning. Just the act of lighting a candle is so satisfying. Like I just lit this one right before the video and man, I just felt so darn good. Let me tell you, it's just like the start of your serenity for the night. Number six is kind of weird, but it makes me so happy. And I know some of you guys do it too. 
there will be nights or days or whatever when I'm really bored and I'm listening to music and I'm jamming out and so I just go in my closet and I start to put together outfits that I think would look good and put together outfits that I've never put together before like pairing things with things I haven't worn before and it's so much fun and then I take pictures of those outfits so I remember them for the future when I'm like I don't know what to wear oh I put together this outfit one night and it looked really good so maybe I'll wear that today it's really fun and it kind of makes you satisfied with your own closet because sometimes like even myself like I'll be like oh I have nothing to wear and that is such a lie what I do is sometimes I'll grab one piece, so I'll grab a shirt and I'm like, okay, let's pair this with something. And then the options are actually endless. Like you might think you have nothing to wear, but if you just experiment and try to put different things together that you don't wouldn't normally do, it is so fun and it makes me so happy. Number seven is FaceTime or call a friend. Sometimes when I'm driving home from school, I'm like really bored because I'm in traffic and I'll like call my friend Caitlin and it's so fun. We just like laugh for hours or like whoever it is, I'll call someone. For one thing, it just feels good to talk to someone and it's just like, I don't know, it's good to like talk to other people that rather than just thinking and having all these thoughts in your head if you're in a bad mood, it like kind of turns your mood around. And if you are in a good mood, I love just getting on the phone with a friend and just like walking around my house like talking on the phone. When I talk on the phone, I notice I like can't sit in one place. I have to be like walking or like doing something. I'm crazy. Number eight, this is something that makes me happy and it might not make others happy, but hey, give it a shot. I love sitting down to create goals, to make lists. I mean, I have sticky notes all over my desk. I have lists all over, like on my planner, it's full of lists. That's something that makes me happy. I feel productive, I feel good. Or just to sit down and create goals, not like goals for 2017, like we're over that. More so goals like for this week, like I want to book this appointment. I want to email this person. I want to go to the movies with my friends. Like whatever it is, like just sitting down to write those things down, I don't know, really satisfying for me. It makes me in a really, really good mood. Like I just did that. That's why I'm like in a really good mood right now. <laughs> Number nine is probably the easiest way to make someone happy, at least for me. I'll get in my car, put on some jams and just drive aimlessly. Like drive somewhere where I know like drive down a nice road or a scenic route that makes me happy and just listen to music that makes you so happy and put the windows down, jam out, it's a good time. Lastly is, this is good if you're just feeling lazy but you wanna get your mood up, go watch one of your favorite childhood movies or one of your favorite movies. That never lets you down. Just snuggle up, put your PJs on, grab your dog, grab your cat or whatever you like to snuggle with and watch a movie that you love. Like sometimes I'm just in the mood to watch High School Musical and have some comfort, eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich and watch my High School Musical. Bring me back to my childhood days. Like whatever it is, something that can kind of bring you back to when you were a child and you were just careless and you know, everything was good, everything was happy, like there was no worries. It kind of feels good to transport yourself back there, so try that. So that's all for today's video. I hope it gave you some inspiration. Make sure to go watch Anna, Michaela, and Molly's videos. You'll learn 30 more ways to be happy and things that make them feel good inside. So those videos will be linked down below. Happy early Valentine's Day. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye!